Good morning, Oak Park, and welcome to the first ever Blues News. I'm Winnie Adenick. And I'm Bailey McQuillan. Blues News will feature videos about the activities going around Oak Park this spring. Starting off with sports, let's swing our way into golf. I started playing golf when I was like six, and then ever since then my dad took me golfing a couple times a year, and then I just built up from there. All right, my favorite thing about playing golf is uh, I miss it school to go play golf with my friends and just go around and practice and stuff, and it's just a lot of fun. I'm not much of a golfing guy, but I started this summer because I thought it would be fun. My best score was a 77. Uh, my best score was a 100 at um, Paradise Point. My best score was a 96 at Tiffany Greens. My favorite thing about being on the golf team is probably the car rides. We have a lot of fun going down and back from Smithville. My favorite thing about being on the golf team is probably the car rides. We have a lot of fun going down and back from Smithville. The best part about being on the golf team is probably just being with all the other guys. And the car rides up there are the best part because we talk about a lot of inappropriate stuff, I guess you could say, that we're, I'm not allowed to speak of. But. Just being around all the guys and messing around on the golf course sometimes is the best part. Wow, that was a real hole-in-one. Everyone should go out for the team next year to support our school. Now let's pass the baton to track. Okay. Oh, BTR3! 
Hi, I'm Coach Pavone, the assistant tennis coach. So far we started uh, off pretty shaky, but it happens every year that you have to get out on the tennis courts and hit a little bit. But so far we're moving at a good pace. My expectation, as it is for any team that I coach, is for us to progressively get better every time we're out on the court and every match that we have. I'd love for the team to get um, some good wins against our uh, district schools, which is Winnetonka, Staley, and Northtown. That is a good goal of mine for our team. Excuse me, it's a good team goal is for us to have success against the district schools. On top spin, moving the ball around, playing smart. Okay, um, every point, work hard, drag it out, and make the guy, make your guy tired. That's going to be our goal today, especially with uh, being warm. My name is Connor Gladden, and I've been playing tennis since freshman year. My goals for the season are to hit the ball on the other side of the net every time and go undefeated. I'm going to miss playing with the guys, and it's just a fun sport, so I'm going to miss that. I'm Lucifer Svanovic. I've been playing tennis all four years, and I really like playing with my twin brother because we play together and we learn together, and it's just a fun overall experience. Uh, it's really sad to be our last year because I really enjoy it, and I know I'm gonna miss a lot of the guys, but we all have to move on at some time. One, two, three, OBG! Well, that was exciting. I hope you guys finished strong. I can play sports, but I can sure listen to some good music. Speaking of music, the students at Oak Park are amazing musicians. Don't believe me? Well, here you have it first on Blues News. <laughs> How long have you been a musician? I've been a musician for about six years now. What made you decide to play the guitar? I wanted to say that I always had a thing for arts. I would be a jar. I used to be a jar, but drawing just took too long. You know, rather than compared to music, where it's spontaneous and it's on the spot, because you can do so much with one note and two notes, three notes and four notes, you can create more than a song, and, like create an entire story. Yeah. What was the first in instrument you started playing? The first instrument I played was a xylophone, unfortunately, and then a piano, and then it slowly progressed as my parents got me better instruments. When did you start playing the guitar? I started playing it when I was 12. And it was just then I would not put it down. Do you want to be a musician in the future? Of course I do. I, I expect to excel as a professional, like I used to back when I got paid. But only this time to play not covers, but actual songs that I wrote myself. How many songs do you know? I know, I, used, I only knew, like, before jazz band, I only knew, like, a couple of handful, but now that I'm in jazz band, I have, like, 50 plus songs. How many of those are original? Most of them are all jazz band. A quarter of them are metal. The other quarter are about classical and like a good one percent are songs that I made that I'm working on with my friend Monte. Which guitar is your favorite and why? I'd probably have to say my original BCH Beasts in the J series with the speed loader because it takes no tuners and it requires special strings. The thing never goes out of tune to be played, which is why I kind of like it. Do you want to expand your band or just keep it YouTube? Me and Monte do plan on getting a full band because you can't play live with just guitars, you know? How long have you been a musician? Well, I guess you could say I've technically been a musician for like seven or eight years since then. What made you decide to play the guitar? <clears throat> um, I don't know, it just sort of, I don't know, it came to me, so to speak. Do you want to be a musician in the future? I'd like to. Or maybe be a luthier, build instruments, you know. Just something involved in music, I guess. How many songs do you know? Quite a few, like, I don't know, 30 plus. Any of those you made? Yeah. I can 
drawings that I've done with the so. Which guitar is your favorite and why? Most favorite would probably be my black ESP LTD V50. Just a black flying V, like my first, um, I guess my first uh, metal guitar. Um, you know, it's, it's my favorite. It's, you know, I've played with the most out of all of them. So. Do you want to expand your band or just keep it you two? I mean, for now, it's just um, Sterling and myself, but we do hope to expand. Here. Thank you. Let's check out this technology report. Technology has become a huge distraction in this generation. The district has provided us with laptops that can be more of a distraction than a learning tool. We wanted to get people's thoughts on how technology is affecting the students. Let's get started. Technology can be distracting and helpful. Um, the reason why I say that is because either if you're studying or maybe uh, going over something in a classroom, like math for instance, or physics, you could look up look up a term or you could um, search something on Google that will help you with whatever you're doing. But sometimes it can also be distracting because there's a lot of social media and it's not all blocked. So, you know, not that, you know, it should be blocked, just saying that, yeah, it's there. Um, I think t technology in the classroom can be very helpful at times. I think it's also a distraction to several students. Um, I think a lot of students believe that they can multitask by having music or YouTube open and get their work done, but oftentimes they need to close those other programs. Uh, but it can be very helpful and very useful uh, in the classroom. I think technology is beneficial in the classroom environment. Um, the biggest issue is students do their own thing with them often. Uh, there's invaluable resources available. Uh, we just have to have, I, I think we need training for our students um, to better use the technology in classroom and be a bit more responsible with it, rather than just putting it in their hands and expecting them to know what to do with it. I don't think that the state should remove textbooks from the schools entirely because um, it's good to have a hard copy and it's also good to um, the internet. The reason why I say it's good to have the hard copy is because Wikipedia is not that trustworthy and um, a geometry book I would go with that over uh, something online. I guess I'm a little bit more old school about having uh, no books in the classroom. I like to have textbooks in the classroom. I think having that paper and pencil out uh, almost connects you more than just something that's on the computer. You can read anything on the internet today and sometimes it doesn't make it as as real as that paper in the book. Uh, so I like textbooks. I like that students have to go searching for stuff. They can't just use a, a toolbar, a search bar to, to find the information they need. So uh, I like that they have to read the information and search for the information in a textbook. I think that that's like a double-edged sword. I think it's a great idea mostly because the resources available online are a lot better than those in the textbooks even for the same textbook online. The issue is student, not all students have access at home. Uh, if the state provided everybody with Wi-Fi for free, yeah. I think that it would be perfect. Well, that's all we have for you today, Oak Park. Starting off from Blues News, I'm Winnie Denick. And I'm Bailey McQuillan. Remember to be ready, responsible, and respectful. It's the Oak Park way.